Hi, and just want to thank you so much for logging into this channel, coming to watch this video. So in this video, we're going to deal with arrhythmias, okay? Today, we want to talk about arrhythmias. Such a massive topic in the BNF, many people struggle with it, but in this video, I'm going to show you so easy, quick way that you can learn this and you can understand the whole area, the whole topic of arrhythmias without really cracking your head with all these terms and getting all stressed, right? So what we're going to do today is there are three things we're going to do on this topic. We're going to first focus on what normal cardio rhythm is so what is a normal heart rate so that's the first thing you need to know everyone knows an arrhythmia means an abnormal heartbeat or abnormal heart rate but what is normal so that's the first thing we're going to look at the second thing we're going to look at is the different types of arrhythmias that you need to know for your exams and then the final thing is the treatment so drug treatment cardio version i'm going to tell you all these different things that you need to know at least to pass your exams and have a good knowledge on arrhythmias so in this specific video, I'm just going to start off with just one thing. We're just going to focus on what normal arrhythmia, what a normal heart rate is, a normal sort of cardio rhythm. We're going to try to define that and then you can understand the best. So in order to know what an abnormal cardio rhythm is, you need to know what normal is. So what is normal? And that's, what, that's the first thing we're going to do. That's what we're going to do in this video today. So I'm going to show you this. Um, this is something that most people don't really know, but I'm going to show you. It's going to make you understand when you read the BNF, you're going to understand it better when I show you these different things. So, what is anarrhythmia in its simplest terms? In its very, very simple, basic, basic, basic terms. It's simply an abnormal heart rhythm. Okay? Abnormal heart rhythm. So, the ultimate question then is, what is a normal heart rhythm? So, we need to know that. So, what is normal? I'm going to show you this. Alright, so, um, there are four things that we're going to do today. Four criteria. To, to have a normal rhythm. There are four things that need to be in place for this to be called a normal heart rhythm. The four things you need to have, okay? Most people know about the first one. What's the first one? What do you think? Most people are going to go, what? Heart rate, yes? So the first criteria, I'm going to write that there, is I'll just put HR for heart rate, okay? So there is a normal heart rate. So the normal heart rate, or the, the, what we consider as a norm is a heart rate of between 60 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. I hope you can see that. So, criteria number one, I told you four criteria, right? The first one is you need to have a heart rate that is between 60 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. That's the first criteria. What's the second criteria? The second criteria is the heartbeat has to come from a specific point and that's called your SA node, right? Sinoatrial node. So you hear that a lot. So I'll just put SA node, okay? So criteria number two is this heartbeat or this impulse has to come from your sinoatrial node for that to be considered a normal heartbeat, okay? That's the second criteria. The third criteria is the impulse has to go through a specific pathway. All right. So there is a pathway that this impulse has to take in order to be considered as a normal heart. Right? Normal heart rate, normal heartbeat, normal rhythm. Okay, I'm gonna go through that as well. So I'll just put pathway. Pathway. And the final part, number four, is this impulse has to have a normal speed. All right? So number four is the speed or the conduction of the impulse. All right? So that's speed. Conduction, velocity. All right? So those are the four things you need to know. Absolutely, you need to know these four things. Guys, if there's anything else you need to know, is this is how you're going to understand arrhythmias. The four things that need to happen for us to say, hey, listen, man, you've got normal heart rate or you've got normal heartbeat. The first thing is your heart rate has to be between 60 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. The second thing is this impulse has to come from the sinoatrial node or the SA node. Number three, it has to go through a specific pathway. And number four, it has to go at a steady or normal velocity. Okay, so I'm just going to write this here now. Let's see those four points right here. So heart rate. SA node, pathway, speed. Are we still together? Little bits, little bits. How are you guys feeling? Are you ready for the next step? Are you ready for the next step? So I'm going to draw that here first of all. 
Hope I could get this well. So if I put this here, can you see this? I hope you can see this. So I'm going to put, um, try to put that a bit higher up here. So I'm going to put here 60. 60 beats per minute. And over here, I'm going to put 100 beats per minute. Okay. Now, why am I showing you this? Because as we already established over here, anything between 60 to 100 bits per minute is what we call normal. So this is your normal heart rate, okay? Anything that's below this is um, bradycardia, but we're not going to go deep into this, but we're, we're going to focus on the higher part, okay? Anything that's below 60 is abnormal, that's you're already going to arrhythmias, but that's um, bradycardia. And anything that's above the 100, right, is what? Tachycardia, guys! So yes, tachycardia is the next thing. So anything above this is tachycardia. I'm going to put that here. Tachycardia, yeah. And anything below 60, bradycardia. Okay, do you see that? you see that? Yes, you do! So, those are the main things we need to know. So normal heart rate. So anything between that is normal. Now, this, these are terms. You know you talk about, you say a lot of terms, don't you? You say, well, what is atrial flutter? Oh, what is atrial fibrillation? Oh my God, what is paroxysmal? So confusing. Why you to take the BNF and read it, man? You get confused. What all these terms? What's supraventricular and all this? So I'm gonna make it easy. I said to you guys, I'm gonna make it so easy, and you can remember all these things. Basic stuff you need to know. So we've established this now. If this heart rate goes slightly above 100, so let's take it to 100. So about these are just estimated figures. Don't quote me on them, but say about 150 beats per minute. It's what we call. It's just a simple. Tachycardia. Simple tachycardia! Yes, so it's a simple tachycardia. So that's just about 150. If you go up further, say about 250 beats per minute, so that's already way up there. This is what we call, I always struggle to say this word, it's called paroxysmal. Tachycardia, paroxysmal, right there, paroxysmal. Why is it paroxysmal? Because it comes and goes. In a nutshell, it comes and goes, it comes and it goes. So that's called paroxysmal tachycardia, about 250 bits per minute. I want you to remember this. Now, if you go a bit higher, say about 350, you get what we call flutter. You get a flutter! Yes, you get a flutter, man! Yes, so you get a flutter. <laughs> you get a flutter when you get about 350. So, this is an atrial flutter. You can have an atrial flutter if it's coming from the atrium, or you can have a ventricular flutter if it's coming from the ventricles. But yes, so that's what you have, okay? The flutter. Now, anything above this, anything above this, say above 350 bits per minute, all this stuff over here is what we call fibrillation. Fibrillation. All right. So it's a bit squashed, but I just wanted to just understand. These are basic things you need to know. So um, in a nutshell, anything above 100, if you go to about 150, it's just a normal tachycardia. See that? If it, about 250 bits per minute, it's a paroxysmal tachycardia. And if it goes above, um, it goes about 350 bits per minute, it's what we call a flutter. And if it goes anything above that, it's fibrillation. So atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, any fibrillation, Marvin fibrillation, U fibrillation, it is a fibrillation. All right, so anything above that is a fibrillation. So that's, that's cool. I hope you understand this part. So just knowing these terms already, I hope that starts making sense so that you understand the distinctions between what is a blood and what is a paroxysm and what is a fibrillation. Just remember these things. That makes sense? So we've got our four criteria and we've defined the different things you need to know based on the beats per minute. I, I don't want to give you too much stuff because I said this is going to be video number two. I want you to take this in little chunks, little chunks. I could do a full video of about two hours, but that's going to be silly because after the first five minutes, you're going to be, I'm tired and I don't want to watch this anymore. So I'm trying to make it easy for you. I'm trying to make it very easy. So that's it. Right? Now, the final thing I want to show you is I want to try to explain this part, the four criteria, so that you understand better. But in order to do that, guess what I need to do? I need to change this. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next page. I'm going to explain to you some of these things I mentioned here so you understand. And don't take this out of me because my 
Drawing is very bad. My design skills, my artistic skills are so horrible. But you understand, this is what I'm going to show you. Right? Let's just take this as the heart. I told you my skills are very horrible, but I want to show you how um, arrhythmias work, okay? So this over here, remember we said the SA node is the point where this impulse has to come from. So this is the SA node. All right, SA node. I don't know where to get all these words from, but we, try, we have to remember them. So SA node, and then over here, AV node, SA node, AV node, and then you have, say, I'm a conduction over here, conduction over here. By the way, this is your heart. <laughs> if you didn't realize, I told you my artistic skills were rubbish, but that's the heart, okay? But I just want you to don't worry about the skills. All you need to do is get the knowledge. So, this is what we call Kunji fibers, bundle of his. That's not important, for example, forget about it. But what I'd like to know is just, we said there were four things for you to have a normal heart, um, normal cardiac rhythm, okay? The first thing we said was what? Heart rate between 60 to 100. Anything out of that is abnormal. The second thing we said is that this impulse, this beat, has to come from a specific area, which is your sinoatrial node, SA node. So this is it right here. So a normal heart has to come from here and it has to move down. This is the pathway I was talking about. It has to move down to this. Okay, this is normal conduction. So it has to come from here, but it also has to, what was the third thing we said? We said it has to go through a specific pathway. It has to follow the normal pathway for conduction of an impulse or cardiac impulse. So the normal pathway is an impulse has to come from the sinoatrial node goes down to the AV node or between the atrial and the ventricles and then it goes down here which is your Purkinje fibers I can't even pronounce that word but don't worry about it but it has to come through the Purkinje fibers to your heart muscle and it goes up this way so in that sort of direction so it comes like this and it goes right so it goes like this and it goes <laughs> that's how it works so that's a normal pathway it comes to here SN node AV node goes through these fibers and it goes through that way and the impulse as well that's a normal pathway in an abnormal heart this may come from somewhere else, so it's going to take a different path or it might be stimulated from a different area rather than come from the SA node. Does this make sense? So these are the criteria. And then the final thing is the speed has to be a normal speed. Right? It has to be normal speed. So these are the things I need to know because in the next video, I'm going to talk more about it. I'm going to explain to you the different types of arrhythmias. And by understanding this, then you will understand how you have the differences between the supraventricular arrhythmias and the ventricular arrhythmias you understand that better, okay? Paroxysmal, ventricular arrhythmias, you understand all of that. But just knowing that. So let us, let's keep, keep it short for now. That's video number one. That's enough for you to digest. Just a recap. So we've got the four criteria that you need to have in order to have a normal heartbeat. If your heart rate is not within this um, 60 to 100 beats per minute, that's an arrhythmia. If it, the impulse doesn't come from an SA node, that's an arrhythmia. If it doesn't follow the normal pathway, it is an arrhythmia and it doesn't have the right speed or right velocity, it is an arrhythmia. So those are the four things you need to know. This is the diagram you need to know and then you need to know if it's 100 beats per minute, um, anything above that, 150 is a simple tachycardia, about 250 is a paroxysmal um, tachycardia, um, 350 is a flutter and then anything above 350 is what we call fibrillation. So atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation. Guys, these are the main things I want you to know for now. I don't want to give you too much information, but what you want to do now is once you absorb this, you want to watch the next video. So video number two, I said we're going to look at the different types of arrhythmia. So I'm going to explain to you all the supra and all those terms that you hear all the time. I'm going to explain that to you in the next video. Right? And then after that, we're going to look at drug treatments. So thank you for watching this. Remember this, and I will see you again on the next video. Till I see you again, stay strong, stay positive, and go for there and smash that.